This is a piece of crap. <laughs> Welcome. Today I talk about flat spanners like these. They are all made of stamped cheese wood and total crap, but I like to keep them as they saved me many many times. Otherwise I wouldn't know how to mount these wheels for example. I mean, look at it. A laughable tool at best. But it's time for an upgrade. And always time for some delicious coffee. If you want to sponsor me, there's a link down below. Thanks in advance. I'm starting with this small pouch. Bernstein is well known for their ESD and other specialty tools used in electronics. And considering its price, I'm honestly a bit disappointed by this pouch. Please ditch this plastic crap and call Vera. I knew I would get stamped and hardened sheet good that is also chrome plated, but this is some bought in stuff that they didn't even bother centering while laser etching. Huh. But they do appreciate including all these small weird sizes starting with 3mm up to 10mm in very small increments. And being just shy of 2mm in thickness, I'd say they deliver the flatness at its best. I can't imagine a crevice this wouldn't fit inside. The small ones are even thinner with 1.6mm. Wow. This pouch. Uh, the 1990s called, and they want their cheap hardware store packaging back. Would you mind please ditching that plastic foil? Looking closer, it gets worse. Can you see the sharp edge and scratches in the reflection? And the laser etching isn't really sharp looking either. It somehow seems burnt and cloudy. I don't know how this happens, but looking at those scratches a bit sandblasting or using a tumbler wouldn't hurt. And at the back is also a brown and oily residue left I couldn't get off with acetone or isopropyl alcohol. I'm wondering if they use air hardening material and call it done after lasering it out. Moving on with the clip. Somehow weird packaging seems to be the second topic of today's video. At least it seems well made, but I'm afraid to lose it somehow later. The clip holds the tools together, but as soon as you remove one, it all falls apart. The smallest size Azahi provides is 8mm in their very regular looking spanner format. Just a bit smaller on every corner it seems. It measures 3.3mm and it goes to whopping 21mm just 4 millimeters in thickness. The steps and sizes are the regular ones you get with such spender sets. Looking closer, the spender looks well made but a bit pitted. And the finish also seems to lack a bit of... <coughs> And the finish also seems to lack a bit, as big scratches within the mouth are visible and you can also feel them. But there's no doubt that this is forged steel. But how do these sizes compare? Let's get some spanners as comparison then. 
Vera is known to provide a very chunky boy with 7mm for their 13mm spanners. But Rasel, on the other hand, like Carolus or other in the Ghidorre family, always seem to rock something around slim 5mm at that size. Having those, it doesn't really seem necessary to get a slimmer spanner as Azahi gets only down to 4mm, but they stay that slim. And having a look at my Baku 19mm spanner with 8mm thickness, halving that is impressive to me. So yeah, I really like those niche spanners from Azahi. I mean, look at it. Yeah, nice. And now I'm wrapping things up. So, what's my verdict? Well, Bandstein tools are normally very high quality, but they seem to be bought in cheaply with no love or care. Coming in sizes from 3 to 10 mm and the Azahi on the opposite side going up to 21 mm with a completely different style, there's no way of comparing them in a fair test. You can't also forget their big scratches inside the mouse, so that it seems that these niche spanners don't get much love on any side of the spectrum. But I see myself keeping them to get into small spaces of any kind of machinery. Bandshine spanners, on the other hand, I would trust with it. They are more like butt savers within special electronics, so I keep them to fiddle around in this very niche application. The question is, do you really need specialty tools? Well, if you avoid chonkers like Vera makes and keep yourself at the Ghidorah range of, of products, you'll be fine most of the time. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments. That wraps it up for today. And yeah, I still keep these janky looking weird keys. You never know when you might need them.